good morning hello hi so i'm on day two of no takeout super happy about it um i do want to give an update yesterday calorie wise i had 1600 well to be exact i had 1638 which is so good um i had 77 ounces of water i am very just proud of that so today i'm going to take that and just like that proudness feeling that i get and just carry it on for today drink my water do my exercises eat my healthy foodsies and yeah i say foodsies to the animals so i just said it to y'all um oh y'all i'm like so this whole missing submarine thing uh, they officially have no more oxygen. I have been following it since the minute I found out about it, which was like Sunday. Like I knew they were like going in there. So um, like going in the water, going in the ocean. And I was like, that is crazy. Why would anyone want to do that? And it's just like seeing all these like memes and like people like be rude is just hard. Everyone's hobbies are different. Everyone's likes and dislikes are different what people find joy in it's all different like someone who goes up in a hot air balloon i wouldn't you wouldn't catch me doing that but that is a dangerous activity and the same of like going in a submarine is a dangerous activity but that's something that these five people wanted to do that's something that brought joy to them and i don't think that we should judge for that should we judge for anything that they decided to do no obviously there are clips of like the ceo and the person who made the submarine um talking a little bit about like not everything about the submarine is perfect so then it just makes you wonder like okay then why'd you do it so obviously like you can question those things but like to make fun of these people who are more than likely um by the time that my this video goes up more than likely have passed on and did suffer and we're very scared um that like breaks my heart because not only were these people who were just doing something that like see i'm separating the fact that they're billionaires a lot of people i feel like might be bitter <laughs> this is just my opinion in the sense of like oh my god billionaires are so stupid i think that there's just like a lot of like jealousy around the fact that these people do have money and it's like when you are a billionaire, when you are a millionaire, when you only make 3000 a month, it doesn't matter. You do what you want with your money. And I stand by that. That doesn't mean that you deserve what these people are going through or what they have gone through because they could be gone by now. And it's just like, I don't know, it's just so heartbreaking knowing that there was also a 19 year old in there who had his whole life ahead of him and truly they died doing their hobby they died doing something that was joyous for them and it just like breaks my heart and puts life into this perspective we don't have to understand why they did it it's not obviously it's not something that majority of people would do but i feel the same about climbing mount everest <laughs> you know um people die doing that all the time and people still do it and people do extreme things because some people are extreme people and i don't know it's just really hard to see like all these like people making fun of them like it has i don't know kind of tore me up just thinking about what these five individuals have gone through or what they are going through it's just, i can't wrap my brain around it it's hard i've been following it i've been for the lack of a better word just kind of obsessed with the whole thing like constant like looking up updates and stuff like that and i don't know my heart's just like hurting for them and their families because it goes above just these five individuals like these people had families and their families are probably hurting and their friends and it just i don't know it just is really really hard So this is the fasting app I use. It's called Zero, and oh my gosh, I still have an hour and 15 minutes of fasting. I am so hungry. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. 
but you know what this is my day one of fasting day two of a new lifestyle I got this I got this I'm just watching the time countdown though do you guys want to sit here with me for an hour and 14 minutes <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> that's my vlog for today let's watch my app <laughs> Alright you guys, I did it. I have five more minutes, so I am currently in the kitchen and I'm gonna decide what I want to make for my first meal. See the thing is, I'm not doing like breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm just eating what I want, you know what I'm saying? So what do I want? That's the real question. Me literally just staring into the abyss. <laughs> so you guys can see what I see. So I'm trying to decide if I want like some scrambled egg moment with some bacon or do I want cottage cheese with like raw veggies and chicken sausage. That is what I'm trying to decide. Okay, so I have some chicken sausage cooking over here. So right here is my little scale. I'm gonna turn it on. I have my bowl on top. I'm gonna have some cottage cheese and it is 113 grams as a serving for only 110 calories, which is actually pretty good. And it's filling, so. So that's 113 literally on the dot. As you can see here, 113 grams. And then I'm just gonna add tons of raw vegetables as well and some mustard. Okay, so we have cottage cheese, mustard, carrots, broccoli, apple, asparagus, chicken sausage, and I'm able to say, end fast. Yay, how am I feeling? Happy. Save that, end fast. I fasted for 16 hours and nine minutes. So I am about to eat. I really like, you know, doing these videos so I can be like a little bit accountable. So this is half of an apple. I give the other half to Feline. I'm gonna try the apple with some cottage cheese. No, I am not going to put mustard on that. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Now we're gonna do asparagus with mustard and the cottage cheese. I also had this, um, so I had this yesterday for my first meal and my third meal. <laughs> this is so good. So I haven't done it with broccoli yet, but I'm about to right now. <laughs> it's genuinely so good. Like, and it's satisfying. Now we're gonna do chicken sausage. Yep. Carrot. Yep. I'm gonna watch H3 and continue my food. So it's time for my purging session of the day and I know some of you like these segments so I'm going to keep them in but I'm going to try to keep them short. So yesterday I said this was part of the maybe pile and I think I have officially decided to get rid of it. This hoodie where I have a matching pair of pants was also part of the maybe pile, pile and I've decided to keep it. So the reason why I'm just like taking random ones down at a time is because I think I want to rearrange my closet, um, hang my clothes differently and stuff. So I'm kind of slowly transferring everything to this side because as you can see here, I'm hanging the ones that I'm keeping on this side. So here we have a mauve turtleneck sweater that I will be keeping because it's super cozy. Here is a beautiful emerald green lace dress and it's super extra, super expensive. I have never worn it. 
but I want to wear it for like a special occasion and it is a little tight so I want to lose some weight before I wear it so I am going to keep it. This is, oh, okay. This is a burgundy velvet shirt that I absolutely love so I'm keeping. So this is just like an outer dress part that I, <laughs> the way I describe things. The inside of it I took out is what I'm trying to say. It was like a two layer dress and I just kept this part. But I don't know if I want to keep it. I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's just too lacy, too old grandma for me. Some lace is good lace. Other lace, I think that a 90-year-old woman would wear it. So here is a t-shirt. It has some sequins, some leopard cheetah print. Um, I do like this. There is a couple sequin things that I will be keeping. I'm not the biggest fan of sequin, but sometimes it's worth it if something is super cute. And I'll show an example of that right now this guy right here it is so annoying on my hair but i love this shirt so freaking much and it's nothing but sequins and i'm keeping it okay you guys i need a little quote um so i'm going to pull out of here before i do i'm actually thinking about getting some tarot cards i have gone back and forth between like if i believe in them or not and i I've realized that like, I believe the universe will tell you things if it's coming from like a good place and the right type of energy. If it's coming from like a biased person, aka like, I don't wanna like bring up reaction channels or anything, but there is a reaction channel who has done tarot reading on me in the past. Like this was like a year ago and it was just so wrong. And so from like a biased angle that I just like was like, is tarot not even real? But when I've done it with friends in the past, or like I had a professional tarot reading done when I was like 19. When I've done it from like that type of energy or I've used tarot cards on myself, like it all makes sense. Um, so I do believe in tarot when it comes from the right type of energy, not when it comes from the wrong type. So I am thinking about getting it. I have it in my Amazon cart. It's a super cute deck, we'll see. But I do wanna pull out of here um what do I want it to be about honestly I'm thinking very much like weight loss weight loss surgery um the decisions that I'm making for my future so we'll see um babe what color come from a come from a good spot do I pick white green orange yellow or blue white, white? All right, I'll do this one right here. And it's weird because I was, as soon as you said white, I was literally looking at this one and it's white. Oh, <gasps> shut up. Stay positive, work hard and make it happen. Oh my gosh. That is exactly what I needed to hear. It's like so obvious, but like the universe speaks to you. I promise, like I'm agnostic. I am an agnostic girly, um, but I believe in the energy of the universe. I don't know how to explain it. I don't like getting into it. Everyone has different beliefs, but thank you universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is the tarot deck on Amazon that I'm thinking about getting, and it is for beginners, which I love. And I think the art is beautiful. It's not like confusing or anything. Like it literally says um, key of wands and you can like look up in the little booklet like what it means there's also a version you can get which i want this version um i probably should get this one if we're being honest since i am a beginner but either way it's beginner either way so this is the keyword edition where it says like the keywords for what king of wands would say or you can get the full resolution which doesn't show all the keywords but like i said it comes with a booklet so it'll tell you you know what each thing means see as you can see here the booklet there's a 200 page pocket guide wait 200 pages wow okay so this is like amazing um it comes with 78 cards and i just think they're so pretty they're super cute and yeah so this is the deck i'm thinking about getting it is the wispel feminine tarot card deck so if you are interested it is on amazon um it's only 20 dollars, which is not bad at all i've also like read and also like I have 
friends who do tarot um that like you can't do tarot readings on people who like didn't approve of it um i have heard that that is a thing like the person has to approve of it so when i was editing this last night this is from my uh vlog this is me using my camera which i'm using right now it's um the camera that most vloggers use and then here is me filming from my phone and this is me too pale this is not what i look like in real life this also i realized is not the true color either because as you can see here my living room walls look yellow and i don't have yellow walls they're like very very like light gray like slash white like it's hard to explain um even here this looks too dark so it's like i can't get the right color whether it be on my phone, whether it be on the camera, I can't figure out life. I've tried to change the light bulbs in my house and it's like not working. So neither of these colors is the real Amberlynn. So what do I really look like? You'll never know.